Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. Uh, I was just thinking about Piers Corbin and his uh, against the grain proposition that we may be in for a period of global cooling as a result of reduced solar radiation which according to Piers Corbin correlates with sunspot numbers. He is predicting a reduced number of sunspots for a period of at least 25 years. Now that would be a, a couple of sunspot cycles, a couple of complete um, sunspot cycles. The sunspot peaks would be far lower than they have been in the 60s and 70s, the 1960s and 70s, and that doesn't portray, portend too well for DXers on the high, higher frequency ham radio bands such as 20 meters, 15 meters, 10 meters. Uh, it doesn't, uh, doesn't sound like very good news, but there's a flip side to that. First of all, if we have global cooling, we can expect uh, very likely longer winters, meaning that's up north particularly, and therefore a longer season of reduced uh, spherics in the atmosphere. That's what we call static on the radio, and it's most prevalent on the lower ham radio bands, such as 160 meters and some which may uh, arise that have frequencies even lower than that. Reduced sunspot activity also correlates with changes in the ionosphere that tend to favor the longer wavelengths such as 160 meters and possible new ham radio bands at frequencies lower than that. So while the DXer who has the tri-bander in the backyard uh, or in the large acreage out in the wilderness at uh, 120 feet hoping to work uh, 300 plus countries on 10, 15, and 20 meters may be in for a rougher time of it in the next few years if Piers Corbin is right. And I have no way of knowing whether he's right or not. Uh, I've, I've given up on who to believe on the internet as, f as far as who is correct and who is not about just about everything. Uh, because uh, they all have graphs, you know, all these scientists all have graphs that, that um, back up their claims even if they're directly contradictory to each other and science has practically turned into a, a, con, a, a conflict of religious cults. But suppose that he is correct and that we have longer winters up north with lower numbers of sunspots. So we'll have better propagation conditions at night on those long cold winter nights free of spherics in the atmosphere which will uh, be good for somebody who has some acreage like I used to have at the Long Wave Ranch recently sold. Maybe I was a fool. Maybe I sold the wrong place. <laughs> I had to sell something though to pay the medical bills. But in any case here I be now in, in the town of human made noise but it, one can still escape and the best way to escape uh, that I can think of uh, in the winter time is to just go on a winter vacation like I did that to Wyoming which surprisingly proved to be a wonderful time for the higher frequency ham radio bands uh, 15, uh, 17, 20 meters sometimes even 12 and 10 meters but for you who love 160 meters, Piers Corbin may have good news for you. I would certainly 
favor a prolonged period of cooler weather simply because I tend to like the winters up here in the black holes of Dakota Territory. United States of Abundant Winter Sports. And uh, that's how we make our money around here is the, the ski resort up on Terry Peak. But more than that, uh, just take another Wyoming winter vacation, except this time uh, go for the lower bands, 160 and whatever may be below that. Or if you're lucky and have a lot of real estate, look forward to what may be coming. Of course, the guy could be wrong. We could be facing a global warming and as a result, uh, shorter winters, more atmospheric activity, and ultimately, of course, the demise of much of the human population as forecast by James Lovelock. Uh, either way, enjoy the higher frequency bands if we get global warming enjoy the lower frequency bands if we get global cooling and forget about the religions of science having turned into cults just get on the air and send da 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 or if you're a qrp guy like me answer one of the cqs and have yourself a QRP blast on 1.8 megahertz. How about 5 watt 160 meter DX Century Club in the season of Piers Corbin? Stan Jabalisco signing off saying 73 and so long, which means in my native fist regardless of conditions or frequency. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Da, 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 da.